to Perfectly Normal, a podcast that brings you love, courage, and connection. And I'm your host, Michelle. I'm a life coach, artist, author, and pharmacist. I'm the founder of Elevate Life Coaching. It's a seminar and coaching company. Let's jump right into the show. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining in and happy Valentine's. Um, so this Friday is going to be Valentine's Day. And what is your plan for Valentine's Day? Who will you be celebrating with? Um, so for me, every Valentine's is kind of the same. <laughs> right? Um, it's just another day. And for someone who's a single, this is, I, I don't know, I, maybe you can relate to this thought as I'm sharing it. Valentine's is just another day for the, um, you know, the people to make money out of this, <laughs> right? Would you agree if you're listening right now? It's just another day that business people, they're trying to make the shit out of the money. I mean, if you look around, I remember walking into uh, CVS the other day and then I was like, I was blown away by how early they put the Valentine's thing out. Um, it was, I think it was close to um, earlier this year and it was even before the christmas i started to see like the stores are having putting out these pink this pink stuff and they're rearranging the shelf they're moving the shelf because of course december is gone christmas is over now what do we celebrate we gotta celebrate the new year we gotta self celebrate um valentine's and we're not even talking about like maybe you know early june early february to celebrate valentine we're talking about like way in two three months away ahead and we're putting Valentine's shit out. And so to me, Valentine's is just another way of picking, people making money out of this. Regardless, if you're celebrating Valentine, great. You know, I hope you are finding something that's very special for your significant other to have and you're enjoying yourself and having a fabulous time. Now, for those of us who are single, how do you cope on Valentine's Day? And the other day I was opening my email and this question popped up and it was asking for expert opinion on what do you do when Valentine's comes around and you're single? How do you cope with it? And earlier I was recording another uh, podcast with my friend Becca. She and I are co-hosting a, another um podcast is called being powerful and in the episode is very conversational she and i um you know kind of sometimes we even coach each other and that's what coaches do we coach each other <laughs> um so there's a couple of episodes that we actually coach each other because it's real life situation and we i i feel this you know going through the same experience as you do and the same emotion as everybody else and many times i need a coach too so in those episodes of being powerful we sometimes coach each other but today our conversation was around how to find love and do we feel like love is in a action or is in an experience and so she and i both share you know our our perspective in you know how do you find how do you find love um and so listen check out check out the podcast it's a great podcast and it's available on itunes spotify i iheart radio you name it we have it um go check it out so she and i are really putting a lot of energy into creating that podcast for you now my own podcast i wanted to share with you how to cope with being single on Valentine's Day, because this is a topic that I can relate to. Um, and for many, many, many years, I've been single. And every time, you know, Valentine's comes around, initially, it was triggering a lot of that emotion, that negativity in me, right? So when I see how other people are celebrating with their other half, and they're happy, they're joyful, and I turn around and compare, you know, where I was and in my situation, you know, I'm single, I'm still in the dating world. And of course, you know, you go out there and date and, and sometimes those dates are just not turning out the way that you want. And it's just very disappointing. There was a lot of disappointment going out to date and, you know, you prepare yourself and you dress up and you're trying to impress each other. And it turns out the other person is just not what you were looking for and it's not what you expected. So there was a lot of disappointment, you know, when it comes to the world of dating. So I hear you, I relate, I can relate to you, whoever you are listening right now. 
And I, so I can't do that. And so I've been single for a long time now. And every time when it comes around with Valentine's, like I don't, I can't relate to the, to the, to the holidays. Is it even a holiday? I don't know. I don't think it's a holiday, but everyone treat it as a holiday. So I suppose it is a holiday anyway. So I can't relate to the day. And, and like many times I'm like, why are you so freaking out about like booking for some restaurant two, three months ahead to celebrate Valentine's? You, you can't just do that on like any other day. Like maybe today you can, you can totally book at a restaurant without any problem today. So why does it have to be on Valentine's day? What makes Valentine's so special? So how do you cope with that energy and that negativity and that, negative mindset that we get triggered when things aren't going so well for us and when i said things aren't going so well for us that's really it's subjective right if you think about it you know being single right now i feel i feel great i feel fine i can pack up my bag and i can travel alone by myself right now this minute all i have to do is just book a ticket pack my bag and then jump onto the airplane and i'm there but for someone who's in a relationship, you have to go and ask, well, is it okay if we go on a, on a trip this time? And, oh, if you're not too busy, can we have it this day and that day? So there's a lot of like um, compromising and, and there's a lot of adjustment um, when you're in a relationship. Whereas if you're single, no problem, right? <laughs> Done, deal. Um, so... It really comes down to how you perceive your circumstances and whether or not, you know, you realize that no matter what you're looking for outside, we cannot fix what's coming, coming up from the inside. If you keep feeling that there's a need to find that someone to complete you or to, to be able to fix that problem of being single, then you're always going to externally look for a solution. And we all know, and I hope that you've been listening to my to my podcast, then you you know that looking for things that's outside of us to fix ourselves is not the solution. It's not it's maybe a per, it's not it's a temporary fix, but it's not permanent. So looking for something to complete us rather than working on the internal aspects of how we're feeling and what is it that we're feeling or how we perceiving this whole Valentine's thing that's creating this stress for us or some judgment for us. That's what we need to learn. That's what we need to grow. That's what we need to um, <clears throat> experience rather than coping. Because when we're coping, it almost, it's implied that it's something is broken. Something it needs to be fixed. Something needs to, something is not right, right? The word coping has to, has that connotation, that negative connotation to it. So in order to change your mindset, how do you reframe that coping to something that's more of coming out of love, coming out of gratitude, coming out of the things that you have from the mindset of abundance? How do you do that, right? So instead of coping, how about how do you experience through all these drama that's going around uh, at how, Valentine's, you know, there's a lot of drama, I think, because uh, every time I uh, talk to friends, you know, what did you do for Valentine's? Well, I didn't go to this restaurant, and blah, 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 blah. And my wife was really angry. You know, there's, there's a lot of drama because we all have our expectation on how Valentine's should be. Now, what if you let go of those assumption of how a date should be celebrated or how your life needs to have someone in the picture, if we can let go of that assumption, that belief that we all have, then perhaps you'll, you'll see Valentine's in a different way, a different approach, and perhaps you wouldn't need to cope your Valentine's anymore. Now, with all that said, if for whatever reason, none of these mindset and growing and thinking positively work for you, then how about just invite all your friends to come over to your house? And you know what? What you're going to do is you're going to open up a champagne or wine, whatever beverage that you prefer, and just throw yourself a pity party. And if you have to cry, cry. If you have to, um, you know, 
vent to someone about your past relationship and and lashing out all that negativity within you, then do that. Do that at a pity party, but realize how much you have. Appreciate and see the value of yourself and also practice those gratitude tools that you've been learning and you've been picking up and you've been hearing all along from all different sources. There's books, there's TV show, podcasts that talk about gratitude and love and also um, you know, that self-affirmation. This is the time of the year that you bring those out and really truly embrace it and practice it in real life experience. So instead of reading it, oh, I need to practice gratitude. What is gratitude for you on a Valentine's Day? What do you have? You have a lot of love. You have friendship. You have family. And you have those people around you who appreciate you and value you. So focus on those instead of focusing on the one piece that was missing. And sometimes, you know what? That missing piece is actually teaching us a great value about ourselves, right? So what, what are some of the quality that I look for in that, in that partner, in that person? What are some of the characteristics that I am really attracted to? And it's creating a lot of self-awareness about you rather than about the person that you're looking for. So it's never about the other person. It's always about you. And, and I think Valentine's or these holiday, when they trigger those emotions that we feel that we need to cope, are actually great lessons that we can learn and in life in terms of how do we want to show up in our life so that we are truly owning ourselves and showing up authentically and really truly experiencing the unconditional love that's, all, that's available all around us. Um, so don't fix, don't focus on the missing piece. And sometimes the missing piece is there for a reason, and that reason is so that we can learn what uh, more about ourselves. So yeah, how do you cope with Valentine's? Well, you don't cope. You just live through it. You know what? And if I feel like I'm going to a really expensive restaurant on Valentine's Day, you know what? I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to go there and I'm going to enjoy a meal by myself. And you're welcome to join me if you find me at a restaurant by my sitting there by myself. And you're welcome to pull up the chair and say, hey, Michelle, can I join you? Absolutely. I would love to have you there. So that's for this week. And happy Valentine's Day on Friday. And I don't know about you, but I'm planning to celebrate right here at home. I'm going to kick back. I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine. I'm going to just take some time to chill and watch a movie. Huh, sounds like a plan, right? So I hope you enjoy your Valentine as well, and I will see you next week. Hey, thanks for joining me this week on Perfectly Normal. Make sure to visit my website at elevatelifecoaching.org. And if you found values in this show, I appreciate a rating on iTunes and Spotify. Or you can simply tell a friend about the show that will really help me too. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for your support. And be sure to tune in next week for our next episode.